Haiti is one of the least developed countries, the bottom 5% of the world. There's not adequate sewage, there's not adequate garbage collection, there's not adequate health care. What we're trying to do, at least, is to address some of the intractable health problems that are such a tax and a burden on the people here. Lymphatic filariasis is also known as elephantiasis. It really is a horrific disease. People's limbs swell to enormous proportions, become infected with bacteria and fungi. Their own families reject them. They really become the town monster. I'm Tyler Savanoa. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Austin, Texas. This is how I'm spending my summer between my junior and senior year in college. Working with lymphatic colorisis, the most important thing has been coming to know the people that have it. In just a few weeks here in Haiti, Tyler will be able to make a difference through his research work and through his affection for these people. Since 1997, Notre Dame, in partnership with the Gates Foundation, has been committed to the elimination of lymphatic filariasis. Through the mass treatment of more than 1.3 million people annually, the Haiti program, led by Notre Dame biologist Father Thomas Streit, is one of the world's premier initiatives against elephantiasis. Through extensive research by both faculty and students, the chain of transmission for this mosquito-borne disease to the next generation is being broken. The University of Notre Dame asks, what would you fight for? Fighting for human dignity. Fighting for our safety. Fighting disease. We are the Fighting Irish.